Hello you guys, it's Kulatius and Latius, and I will be bringing you the fairy tale event, the end of this event. So, I might have to spend a little bit more. I don't know, I thought I did this correct. Yeah, I think I do have to. Damn, bro. Okay, so... I did lose that one time. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Alright. And like I said, I promise you I'll be reading the story for you. Oh, nice. Oh, that's such a pretty suit. I'm very glad that I finished it. And... Alright, so... It has to be. Iceland Gift 1 There is a heavy snow in North Kingdom. All trains from the glacier are delayed, and many of them are even cancelled. Looking at the snow outside, Monica comforts Mikkel, who appears to be worried on the other end of the phone. It's okay, I will definitely return as scheduled. Fortunately, Monica gets on the train that is five hours late and returns to hometown where she has been for a long time. Upon the news that Mikkel is waiting for her at the school gate, Monica can't Help speeding up. Thinking of the surprise trip she has arranged, Monica can't help smiling. At the gate of Sissia College, I hope I'm reading the right thing, she sees her sister at a glance. Mikkel reappears in her world. She sees her sister? Reappears in her world. Driving away this screaming cold wind from the glacier. Has to be, right? Hold on. Okay, yeah, that goes with the animals. Okay. How old is too old to believe in Santa Claus, right? I think. Yeah. Okay. At least for her sister, Mikkel, fairy tales have been re <clears throat> real existence. Be it wild bearded Santa riding a sleigh or the animal elves living in the radio. <clears throat> Monica reaffirms her plan. The radio is introducing the glacier. They agree the radio. They agree to visit the forest town in North Kingdom to see forest and rare animals. Mikhail would love the journey. Monica, have you packed up everything? Mikhail asks. Hmm. She has been busy designing the something completely forgotten to pack up. Mikhail sighs. <sighs> I knew it expression. <laughs> Starts to help Monica reorganize her luggage. Monica sighs silently thinking, My sister is always caring and reliable as always. Monica can feel the warmth of home whenever Mikkel is at her side. By her side. The first step to the journey. Of the journey. Take the train to the forest town in North Kingdom. The train they take arrives at the station on time, which marks a perfect start. Monica wraps a scarf around Mikkel's neck. A question seizes her. Will I see white bears this time? But Mikkel sneezes. Achoo! <laughs> Monica says, let's go. Then she takes Mikkel to the car. The second step of the plan is to drive to the village in the forest, but... Bang! Monica looks at the car that breaks down. Someone distressed that is not in her plan. Oh, oh my gosh! After comforting Mikkel, Monica secretly sends a message to inform the staff of the changed plan, but there is no signal due to the heavy snow in the forest. Uh-oh. After the car breaks down, they lose all contact with the outside world. Well, that's not good. Loss of signal is commonplace on the inaccessible glacier. Oh, I could assume so. Monica plans to walk to a nearby village with Mikkel. However, she soon discovers that something is very wrong. No matter how far they go, they are surrounded by the very same things. After staying in a cabin, Monica relaxes. Though things don't go as planned, the result is good. The secret cabin designed as a surprise for Mikkel seems different from this photo. Interesting. Everything in the cabin is this exquisite and small, just like a residence of elves in fairy tales. Yeah, seeing how happy Mikkel is, Monica nods secretly. She says, we are so lucky. 
The two sit around the fireplace and listen to the radio. The radio voice sounds like a lullaby. Mikhail has fallen asleep. Monica turns off the radio and falls asleep. Amidst, amid the silence of the cabin, in the cabin, only the burning wood makes a few small crackles intermediately. All of a sudden, there's a strange sound heard in the radio. Ooh. Not to be continued. Hurry up. Hayaku, the rally has already started. We are running late. Monica smacks her lips in her sleep. Yes. Uh, she somehow feels that the room is crowded with people. She rubs her sleepy eyes, yawns, then she is stunned. There is a river of golden light in the room. Animals are rushing, is this the same right now? Are rushing out of the radio and disappear by the window. Monica recalls the story of an elf and two girls told by Mikkel. Am I dreaming? Monica thinks in a daze. Or did we accidentally break into the house of an animal of an animal elf? Monica wakes up Mikkel. Another tiny cute snow fox emerges out from the light river of the radio, then rushes away as if it doesn't notice the metal. After a quick eye glance, Mi Monica and Mikkel follow the footsteps of this tiny fox, running to the gloomy, mysterious forest along the right light river. Led by the river, they find they're deep inside the forest. By the river of moonlight stand numerous animals who compose and hustle the hustle and bustle of the market. Little panda hawking and stack. Happy fox licking ice cream. Snow hare, poker face penguin. I'm reading the same thing. Everything's just like but Mikhail once mentioned in her story. Every once in a while, there's some unexpected visit by weird animals. The glacier bear hands them a sweet something and continues. Try it. My exclusive recipe. Pink ratafia mixed with soda bubbles in mouth, leaving tongue the fresh, sweet. All of this is just like an incredible dream. I really had an interesting dream yesterday, Monica says to Mikhail with breakfast in mouth. Mikhail, however, nods with a surprise. No surprise. Yeah, I know. Really? How? Because, oh, I see. I see. Makes sense. Because I had the same dream like yours, Mikhail grins with eyes disappearing into squids. But how could that just be a dream? The shining light river, the lively animal market, and the glacier bear. Monica can even smell the wonderful aroma of... What the? Wait. <laughs> Monica's attention is suddenly caught by the pink ratafia on the windowsill. This is exactly the special gift given by the glacier bear in her dream. She stares in amazement with a sudden idea crosses her mind. All scenes that Mikkel described in her story truly exist in the world. How could she predict all of these? The bitter wind still whistles outside. But these two girls who broke into animal world have gotten the most precious present the adventure and huh i don't know the school ushers into a long break on the second day after the snow in sissia mikhail comes to the school gate with her suitcase and waits for her elder sister to pick her up how long has she seen monica this is the longest period they've been separated since Monica joined the ice bear scientific expedition team and went to the polar regions mikhail warms her palms in her breath and makes a wish against a snowflake falling on her palm before Mikkel opens her eyes. She hears a familiar voice, Mikkel. As she opens her eyes, Mikkel sees Monica standing not far away, Aww. waving her hand at her. After a long journey and with snow on her clothes, Monica returned to Mikkel's world. This is the first wish realized, reunion with Monica. Mikkel drops her luggage, runs all the way to Monica in the snow and hugs her tightly. I hope I got the right story down. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, I hope I got the story down. I wonder... Uh, I wonder if the other ones have their stories too, right? Yeah, very uh very interesting story i really enjoyed reading that that was pretty cool
Is it stormy? Now I can finally show her. Yay! Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so here's what she comes with. The waist item, I'm assuming, or, bro, or you know what I want to say. Handheld item. Cute little hat. Shoes. And the... This, that, yeah. <laughs> Stockings. The... The dress. And then the back item, which is pretty cool. So is this... Mikael, Monica. Oh, this is Monica. Oh, okay. That's right. Joined the polar bear expedition, didn't we? So here she is. I like everything about it. Even the... I'm going to assume it's an apron. Even though I don't... I don't know if it is. But... Well, I forgot to put the bear. That is so cool. I really, really like that. And then this. These make for really nice story cord. I, I like how it's full of snow. This is really cool, guys. I really like it. It's too cute. There we go. There is our homies. Let's change the background. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright, so you can remove things, add, and it will not change the pose. That's pretty cool. I like the pose a lot. It's really cute. Look at the way she poses her legs. It's too cute. I forgot to show you the teddy bear. <laughs> the teddy bear. Where's the bear? Ah, oh, that's right, because I got those items first. Go, go ahead and add in some uh, bunnies, too. Little cute bunnies. Uh, let's see. Huh, perfect. Oh my god, this cute pose is so adorable. Her dress has pink. I didn't notice it earlier. I know, I, I just, I see some pink here in her shoes, but the dress, I have to look at the normal pose again. But this is so adorable. I really like it. Make it, not Monica, Monica. Yes, that's her name. Oh. All right, let's see what I can do. Oh, hey. We have Laird. That's fantastic news, guys. Except the thing is going on. Who cares? <laughs> huh. I do. At least we need to show that it's there. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so cute. Where's the... Huh. All right. Nice. And we got the bunnies, which is kind of hard to see, actually. What the heck? Okay. Ta-da! Oh, so this is a layered item. I had no idea. That's pretty cool. I like both suits. I'll be honest with you. If I only went for one of them, I oh, that would have been hard. <laughs> I probably would have went for the other one because I like the dogs. But this is so cute. This would have been a hard event to skip both suits. At least for me, it was. <laughs> So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, not a long video. I'm curious to see what our next event is going to be. Who knows, maybe the Ursa Major. Uh, I mean, I can't... Uh, 
do all the events that we're missing, aren't we? But yeah, I really enjoyed this fairy tale event. I can't wait to see what the Chinese server is gonna do for. I call it seasons. I don't know what they're called, but let's just call it season four. Whatever they're gonna make for the fairy tale event. So that's gonna be very exciting to look forward to. Again, I'm curious to see what events were, what event next we're gonna get. <coughs> 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 So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Bye.